so I want to do your makeup today. Okay? Okay. I really, really love doing people's makeup. Because it always shows them, like, their true potential, you know what I mean? Like, I see someone, I'm like, wow, they're really pretty. Like, I want to show them, like, what they would look like with makeup on. It's just, like, super fun to see people's transformations. So I've always loved doing my own makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with your foundation. Got a little beauty blender. It's not a real beauty blender. It's the real techniques version, which I kind of like better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a shade for you because uh, everyone's got unique skin tone. I've always struggled with acne, so... really appreciate nice skin. You look up for me and get under your eyes. And we'll do a little conceal. I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers because the temperature of my skin will help warm it up. I look up. Just lightly tapping it. The warmth of your skin too will help it melt into your skin and really blend beautifully. Make sure that's really blended into the foundation. Don't want any lines. Alright. Now we're going to do some powder to set it. I've got my big fluffy brush. Tap it in there. Look up again. This isn't going to give you any of that crazy flashback you might have seen on the internet. It's like, makes everybody look like crazy. <laughs> Usually that comes from using too much powder or using powder with specific ingredients in it. This is the Now we're going to move on to your eyes. Let's start off with this primer. Just, just going to make everything stick so much better. I usually dab it between my fingers and then I'll pat it on. So go ahead and close your eyes. do a somewhat happy look, pretty similar to what I'm doing on my eyes right now. Oops, I'm going to start off with a flat brush. Go into this golden color. Alright, close your eyes. Using your brush in like a Adding motion rather than like a brushing mo mo motion <laughs> can actually help get better pigmentation. Um, and for some shadows, you can either just even just use your finger and get even more pigmentation. That's what I like to do for like glittery stuff or shimmery stuff. Now 
Now we're going to use a fluffier eyeshadow brush. We're going to go into my slider shade. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. Start blending up the green. I have somewhat headed eyes, um, which can make it a little annoying because you put all this work into doing a beautiful eyeshadow look, and as soon as you open your eyes, it's like you can't see it. <laughs> You have, you have really beautifully shaped eyes. Alright, we're going to go into a slightly darker shade and just keep building it up. Gorgeous. Alright. Keep building it up. a smaller brush again and uh, go right under the eyes with one of those medium shades. Let's go ahead and look up a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do your eyeliner. I really like using felt tip liners uh, for a cat eye look like this. The shape of the eyeliner is just perfect for making a wing. That's how I really like to do it. It makes it really easy. Alright, go ahead and close your eyes. Practice really does make perfect when it comes to eyeliner. You have to kind of learn what works for you because different eye shapes need a different angle or a different length and it just all depends on your own particular look and what you have, how you want to look and what you're going for. So it's really just practice. So whenever you're doing your eyeliner, don't get bummed out if it doesn't the way you want it to. All right. Going to do mascara. Oh, I curl my lashes, but you have really nice lashes, so it doesn't need any curling. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use the super sizer on your top lashes, so go ahead and look up for me. When I first started doing people's makeup, this was always the hardest part. You have to be really delicate. This is just a trick I like. Um, I use a separate mascara for the bottom because I like different formulas for each. So I'm going to use this volume lash on the bottom. A lot of people neglect the bottom lashes, but I always think it's a feature that should be uh, more noticeable really opens the eyes. Alright. Now we're going to move on to brows. Let me just find my pomade real quick. Okay. I like to use a combination of products on the brows as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a pomade and an ankle brush. Just outline, get that shape and the arch. Make sure it lines up with your eye shape well. 
might not be able to tell, but I do not have very many friends. <laughs> and they're just as light as could be, so I spend a lot of time filling my brows in the morning. I don't want this line to look too harsh. I like a really crisp line, but you don't want it to look cartoonish, if that makes sense. So I like to create a little fade up at the, the center part here. Just kind of feather it out. Brows can really change your whole face. When I was a kid and I was first getting into makeup, I never understood the brow thing, but it's so important. Alright, for the second step, I like to use, I like to use a more liquid product called Wonder Brow. It lasts forever. Um, and it comes with a little brush, but I just like to put it onto a spoolie. Just brush it on there. Get some product. And then I comb it through as like a finalizing thing. So it kind of sets everything in place. Make sure all your brows are in line. And when it dries, it'll kind of hold them in place all day long. And it's waterproof and sweatproof, so you can go through your whole day and not worry about your brows melting off. This is a great product. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of lipstick. Do a matte lip on you. A little bit of an ombre. So we're gonna do a darker color on the outside. I'm gonna fade to a lighter color on the center. So I'm gonna start with this lighter color. These are both gonna be like a matte crayon type. So this is the center color I'm gonna start with. Just put it right all over the lips. You don't want to overline your lips too much. You kind of want to just go to that white edge you can see. That way it'll look as natural as can be. And these just feel so lightweight. It's like you're not even wearing anything. Alright, this is the second color that I'm going to fade to. I think this packaging is adorable. It looks like a little crayon. Open it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these just on the edge and then blend it out with a little brush. Cool. All right, I'm going to take this brush I have and just blend that out. Like this. Well, I'll blend it too. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Alright. Now we're going to do a little highlight and contour. Okay, now I've got the Maybelline Master Highlight brand bronzer. So sounds kind of confusing, but it's a bronzer that's going to be illuminating also. So, uh, whereas we're not going to put it on the tip of the cheekbone, we're going to put it in the hollow. Um, it'll still make your skin look like it's glowing. Alright, go like this. Beautiful. Okay. And then for highlight, we've already done a little bit of highlighting with the concealer, but just to give you some shimmer, I really love to use ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. It's my absolute favorite. I'm going to just rub it onto my finger because that's the best color payoff. And then I'll just sweep it onto your cheekbones. Very frigid, huh? 
and then we'll put that on your nose. That's great. And right on your cupid's bow. Perfect. That's just like my favorite part of makeup because it just makes the whole thing pop. Oh yeah, before I forget, I like to put a little bit on the inner corner too. Really okay. blush to give you some rosiness. I have this little cream blush. It's also a little bit luminizing. I'm really into the whole glowy skin. It just looks so youthful. Just dab it on my finger. Dab it onto your cheeks. Just the apples right here. Gorgeous. Okay, for the final step, we're going to do a little setting spray. This one is all natural. It's got essential oils. It's going to help keep you moisturized, help keep the makeup from breaking down. It's also going to make it feel so lightweight on your skin. I'm going to shake it up a little bit, make sure it's mixed. gorgeous. Uh, I really hope you like your makeup. Uh, yeah, I just think you look awesome. And uh, I hope you can do this again. It's just so much fun for me. Um, so yeah, go take a look in the mirror. You look great. <laughs> See you next time.